it's time for spelling analysis. And before we begin, I just want to review one phonogram. That's this one. What does it say? E -e -a. I'm practicing this one with you because it's in one of our words. And sometimes for some people, this phonogram can be a little tricky. So be watching for it. All right, our first word is find. I would like to find a new jacket. Find. Go ahead and say find. Find. Let's sound it out. F I N D. Got it? Go ahead and write find. Oh, you're unsure which I? Let's try it again. F I. This is an I I E Y A N D. All right, go ahead and write find. Help me to write it. I, N, D. All right. So how will we mark find? You're right, the I is saying it's long sound. Why? It's before uh, two consonants. What's the rule? I and O may say I and O before two consonants. Let's sound it out. I, N, D, find. The next word is late. Try not to be late to dinner. Late. Let's sound it out. O, A, T, silent final E. Go ahead and write late. Now help me to write it. Ready? O, A, T, silent final E. How do we mark it? We'll put a line over the A. Why? Because it said it's long sound. And we'll double underline the silent final E. Why do we have a silent final E in late? You're right. The vowel said it's long sound because of the E. Let's sound it out. L-A-T-Late. Late. The next word is kind. It is important to be kind to people. Kind. Go ahead and sound it out. K. Use a tall K. I n d kind. Go ahead and write kind. I like how you're sounding it out. Now help me to write it. Let's see. K I n d. Very good. How will we mark kind? You're right. We'll put a line over the I. Why? It's saying it's long sound. And why is it saying it's long sound? I and O may say I and O before two consonants. And there it is, k i n d kind. The next word is teacher. I am, I am a teacher. Go ahead and say teacher, teacher. How many syllables in teacher? Hmm, hmm, two. We will say to spell teach-er. What do we say to spell? Teach, er. The first syllable is teach. Let's sound it out. T e use an e a a. Ch. The second syllable is er. Use the er of her. Do you got it? Teach, er. All right. Help me to write it. The first syllable is teach. T e ch. The second syllable is er, er. How will we mark it? You're right, we'll underline the E. What sound of E, E, A is that? You're right, it's the first sound. And we'll underline the ch, and we'll underline the er. That's a pretty cool word. There's three phonograms in a row that need to be underlined. Let's sound it out, t, e, ch, er, teacher. The last word is farmer. The farmer is out planting his fields. Farmer. Go ahead and say farmer. How many syllables in farmer? Hmm, hmm. Two. Let's, we will say to spell farm-er. What will we say to spell? Farm-er. All right. The first syllable is farm. F-R-M. The second syllable is er. Er, the er of her. Go ahead and write farm er. Good. 
it and help me to write it. All right, the first syllable is farm, R, M. The second syllable is er, er. How will we mark it? We'll underline the R and the er. Let's read it, R, M, er, farmer. Well, I have a question. Do you notice a pattern with these two words? You're right, they both end in er. Let's look at them a little closer. What does a teacher do? A teacher teaches, you're right. So you can see how these this added the er because it's a person who teaches. What does a farmer do? It's a person who farms. So you can see how these words are related and how we added the er to be a person who works on a farm or a person who farms. This is a person who teaches. Look at all that you're learning about words. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.